I just have to spread my legs. Hello everyone and happy Easter. Since I haven't done any Easter content in, I think, years, I think it's been a good two, possibly even three years since I've recorded anything Easter related. No, it hasn't, that's a lie. I did one a year ago or two years ago. I can't remember, but it's been a while. So today I thought it would be quite fun to make a ginormous Easter bonnet. And if you don't know what a bonnet is, well, I assume it's just a hat. It's just a fancy word for a hat. I'm gonna make a big Easter hat today. It's gonna be fun. Okay, so obviously I'm not gonna be making this hat from scratch because I wouldn't know where to start. So I bought this ginormous yellow sombrero hat and I thought this would act as a nice base and then we can just embellish and decorate it and turn this into an Easter themed bonnet slash sun hat. And I, I think that'll be fun. I'm, I think it's gonna look really good. I've got a vision for it and I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like. Like. Unfortunately, the hat's arrived and it's very crinkly and like bent. So I'm gonna have to iron it, which I absolutely can't stand. I hate ironing. It's honestly my least favorite thing in the world, ironing. I don't understand why, as a society, we decided that wrinkly clothes just, just aren't allowed. It's unacceptable. And it's not, it's fine. They come out on their own in the end anyway. I never iron any of my clothes. I just think it's such a pointless activity. There's so many more exciting things to do in life than iron. Other housework, like hoovering and mopping and stuff like that, love it, I'm all for it. Ironing, waste of time. And they did say I could iron this hat online if it came wrinkled, so I'm just doing as I'm told. Weirdly enough, I was gonna buy one bigger than this, and I'm kinda glad I didn't because I didn't realize how huge this one was gonna be. Okay, let's see how you iron. Am I gonna burn my table? Nah, be fine. I don't care about my table. Ah, oh, look at me, a domestic goddess. Why have I not found myself a husband yet? It's because I don't want one. I really don't want one. I would prefer to die happy and alone than miserable and with someone. <laughs> Even on a slag off ironing, it does actually work, doesn't it? Like, that's come out quite nice. It's not perfect because I'm not very good at ironing, but better than it was. Right, I think that's enough ironing for the year. I think that's actually the first time I've ironed something in probably about like four years or something. That's that's how much I detest it. <laughs> like this t-shirt wasn't ironed. You wouldn't be able to tell. All the wrinkles just drop out. Okay, so I wanted this Easter bonnet to almost be like a sculptural work of art. Very 3D, very just kind of out there. So I bought this polystyrene egg online and I thought this would act as a nice kind of feature on the top somewhere. And if you ever have any rolls of tape, always keep the little cardboard kind of round circle bit because it'll come in so handy for things like this. I use it all the time to balance things on when I'm painting them. So I just popped my polystyrene egg onto my little life hack and painted it blue. I thought blue would be the perfect complement to the bright yellow. And I've got it here. It looks gorgeous, very big and blue. And I was going to keep it quite plain, but then I was like, like, ugh, looks a bit boring. I think it needs something else. So I'm going to do some polka dots and I'm just going to draw on it with a sharpie. I especially want to add polka dots onto some areas that I've done a terrible painting job on just to kind of hide the flaws. Oh, I've just had an idea. I could draw a face on it. So do I want polka dots or do I want a face? Like if we think about that as an eye. Oh, this is a tough one. You know what? I think I'm going to go for a face. I think a face will be fun. I think a face will give this hat far more personality. Polka dots will just be a bit boring. And at the end of the day, I want to go to Easter Sunday service at the church. And I want to turn heads. I want everyone to stare at me and admire my hat. They won't be staring at us thinking, what, what's happened? What's, what's that person wearing? They'll be staring at us thinking, damn. I'm so jealous. That's the kind of vibe I'm going for with this hat. I want to make everyone jealous of us. Right, a giant mouth on this. I want this egg to be super duper happy. I'm having to kind of like cradle the egg because it keeps rolling away. It's really hard to draw on. Oh, how happy. <laughs> Not terrifying at all. I'll do a little tiny nose too. Just a little button nose. I'm so glad I went for a face and not polka dots. I'm way happier with that. Kind of want to give it a wig. Like some hair or something. No, I don't want to get... I don't want it to be too much. I think that's one step too far even for me. Because I still want this hat to be classy. Alright, so I've got a couple more steps to do before I kind of mount the egg and add the decorations and stuff. So with a bonnet, I'm assuming a bonnet is one of those kind of old school looking hats with the kind of frilly ribbon that comes down and it ties it around your chin. That's what I've got in my head anyway. In fact, let me check what a bonnet is. I'm making a video about it and I don't even know what one is. No, not Lisa bonnet. A bonnet 
bonnet's like an Amish person's hat, isn't it? Maybe I'm not making a bonnet. What am I making? Okay, so a bonnet hat, it's a noun. A hat usually tying under the chin and often framing the face. Formerly much worn, what? Formerly much worn by women, but now worn mostly by children. Informal, any hat worn by a woman. Excuse me? Bonnets can be for men too. Sexist. A bonnet's just kind of a type of hat. It covers more of kind of the face area and then it has the little ribbon thing underneath. So I'm making a hybrid, a sombrero hat bonnet. But anyway, a typical bonnet has that kind of frilly under the chin moment. And that's what I wanna do first before I start adding other stuff because I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna do this. So I want two long bits of this gorgeous pink satin ribbon. As if online it said that it's just for women. I'm sure men and other non-conforming gendered people wear bonnets all the time. I don't understand why it has to be just for women. It's so rude. Anyway, I'm gonna make a little cut, like kind of along here. Okay, and then that'll thread through. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Right, do it exactly the same on the other side. Because I'm going to hide that. That's why I'm doing this bit first. And then that one can just thread through here. Oh, look at me go. That was such a good idea. Well done. I'm so happy with myself. Right, and then just apply a lot of glue to this bit. And again, don't worry, I'm going to hide all of this with some decoration. See, that'll be perfect. That'd be really good. Okay, so now it's the creative part and making this look far more fun rather than practical. And I was trying to decide where I wanted to place my egg because initially I was thinking there, that obviously makes complete sense. But then I was thinking it might look cool on the side. The only issue with that though, is it's probably just gonna wear the hat down. So I think my initial idea is sticking it in the center. You're not gonna be able to see that because I just had, there's not enough space, it's too big, but trust me, looks fab. So I just want an absolute shitload of hot glue on here. You can never have too much hot glue when it comes to something very serious like this. Okay, that's gonna be the front of the hat, so I'll just stick that there. Ah, seriously, this is gonna look so good. Everyone's gonna be well jealous. Just have to wait for that glue to set. How cool is that? Oh, it's so good. No one even needs to tell us how good it is. And no one even needs to tell us how good this idea is because I'm already having so much fun and I know it's gonna be great. And the thing is, I've seen some really intricate and interesting and kind of sculptural Easter bonnets, but, but they were quite like significant, they were huge. And that's kind of what's inspired us to do this. I was looking around for Easter stuff to make and all of it was just really like cheap and tacky. And I thought I wanted to go more sophisticated and that's how I've come up with this video. I don't feel like my idea is tacky, nor sophisticated. I think it's just a very weird place. Not even in the middle, just like somewhere over there. Okay, but I bought some flowers because obviously Easter's about flowers, spring sprung, and all the animals are out and about. And I would say I've bought some Easter flowers, but I don't really know what Easter flowers are, apart from daffodils. And I didn't want to go daffodils because that's obvious. But I bought these things. These are nice, aren't they? The egg's a bit too big. I was wanting to kind of stick them along here. Oh, actually, that could still work. In fact, what I'll do is I'll bend them. Yeah, this is gonna look great. Oh, it's gonna look so good. I won't cover the face because we don't want to hide that, but I'll have these flowers to kind of frame the egg because the egg's the centerpiece and then this is just to highlight the centerpiece. Probably just want to start kind of where the ribbon is on each side. And again, the reason I'm doing all this bit first is because I'm going to hide this. I think I'm going to put some ribbon around it. So it'll look really messy to begin with, but you won't be able to see that in the final design. And I'm talking about this in a very serious manner because I know once it's finished, people are going to want to know how to make their own at home. So if you just follow these very easy steps, you too will be able to look like me. The thing is, I was being very sarcastic and I was taking the piss out of myself, but I actually think this is going to look really good. Not good in the sense of like, oh... Oh, that looks good. But in the sense like, oh, that, that kind of looks good. The problem is that I bought quite a few things. And I think an issue with something like this is knowing when to stop. But also, it's supposed to be quite out there. So I don't think you're supposed to stop. I know you're not gonna be able to see much and see what's going on, but I'll give you a proper close-up later on. Okay, I think that's all the flowers I wanna add. And I think that's all the things I wanna add around kind of this bit. So now I need to cover this and I'm just gonna use some more ribbon just to hide all the shitty parts and make it a bit more secure.
so sophisticated, I love it. But there's some areas that just look, they're just not, not to the standard I was hoping for. So I'm gonna hide all those flaws with some daisies and just kind of like dot them around. Like for example there, if I just stick one like that, you won't be able to see that kind of massive seam, will you? So these are gonna be the saving grace in this whole thing. And again, if you're wanting to do this at home, I'm just applying the daisies with hot glue. <sighs> Also, let me know down in the comments if you actually do have like an Easter outfit or an Easter hat or anything you wear, obviously at Easter. Because I might have some people who are churchgoers and stuff like that. And they might have their like fancier outfits to wear, wear to church. I know when I was younger, I used to always have to go to church. And we used to always have to dress smartly and look presentable for Jesus. Like I'm not a particularly religious person, but my mum's side of the family is. They're Methodists, if anyone wanted to know. And before anyone asks, I don't entirely know the difference between a Methodist and all the other kind of Christians. They essentially believe in the same thing, but there's kind of different variants of it. I think Methodists are more of a modern take on Christianity. But yeah, I used to always go to Sunday service every single Sunday and you used to have to drink the Ribena when you were a certain age and then it went to wine when you got to a certain age which was obviously the blood of Christ but as years have gone on I've kind of been able to make my own mind on things and figure things out and stuff and I'm no longer a method like a practicing Methodist or believe in anything like that not that I have anything against anyone who wants to I think if you've got your faith then good for you as long as you allow people to live their life the way they want to live their life a okay with me. I did buy my mum for her birthday this ornate crucifix that was covered in mother of pearl and they sourced this kind of wood. It's like magic wood from Jerusalem and it had like things inside so like leaves and stones and stuff from like Bethlehem and she was absolutely over the moon with it but I just remember church being incredibly boring when I was younger. Sunday school was fine but the actual like sitting in the service and listening to I assume they're called like a vicar. Listen to the vicar talk about like the bible and stuff and Jesus and what he did and all that kind of other stuff. Ah, oh, it was just so boring. And then singing songs I didn't sing, I just kind of lip synced and just mumbled under my breath. Right, I think that's enough daisies on that part. Okay, so I've got some Easter chicks and they're a lot smaller than I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be a lot bigger than this. So I think I might just dot these around various places. I don't know whether I want to do too much to it. Shall I add some more flowers? I was thinking about sticking some here, but that looks a bit sad, doesn't it? And they're quite heavy, so that'll weigh it down. I think it, it, I think it should just be chicks around here. I think I'll put some more daisies around here actually because otherwise it's gonna look very plain isn't it oh my god they look so cute but yeah I was gonna continue kind of the religious conversation but it can be quite a hot topic can't it so I'm not gonna get too deep into it but I think as long as everyone respects one another then that, that should that's that's all it's about isn't it you know people should respect other people for their views it's just when their views get in the way of some people living their lives it's kind of where I have a well it's not kind of where I have an issue, it's definitely where I have an issue with it because it's it's just not right. But I won't get into that debate because it will get very serious and I can be, surprisingly, a very serious person when I want to be. I know I kind of joke around and piss about and stuff like that. I can have a very good, serious conversation and a good debate with someone if I wanted to. But there's no one really to bounce off here. There's just me in this room, so it's kind of pointless. I feel like I should have bought these chicks in a different color because they're just gonna blend in with the hat, aren't they? Okay, I think I might be done. Let me just have a look. Oh, I'm definitely done. I love it. I think this is gonna look so good on. So I'm gonna pop it on my head and we'll see what it looks like. What do we think? Oh, you can't really see it. Hang on, I'll have to lower my chair. Ah, oh, there. It's really hard to wear. It actually looks like an Easter bonnet because of this bit. This bit, this is the detail. I don't want to lean it any further forward because I can't see them. Does it look good if you can't see us? I can't tell what it looks like because I can't see the camera because of this bit. I think it looks good. I just have to tilt my head a bit, but I'll give you a bit of a 360, so hang on a sec. My chair won't spin all the way around. Hang on, I'll get rid of my chair. Okay, so front. And the back. And I hope you can see that I've paid attention to every kind of angle of the hat. So no matter where you look, there's something interesting to see. And I think that's important. 
Yes? I feel like I should be doing some gardening in this. Oh, there we go. I just have to spread my legs and crouch and then you can see us. Oh, that looks, that looks good. That's exactly what I wanted. I could pin it up if I wanted to and just look fine and normal. And just like, oh, he's just wearing a big hat. And then it's like, no, no, I've got a lot going on up top. Does the egg move a lot when I move my head? Say I'm walking down the street. Does it, does it have some nice movement to it? Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this little adventure into hat making. I've enjoyed myself. I think it's been really fun. But anyway, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know if you plan on making this exact Easter bonnet at home because I would highly recommend it. I might have to include it into kind of the rotation of my wardrobe. Every spring this hat comes out. But anyway, I'll see you next week for another very crafty video. Not Easter inspired, I'm afraid. I'm sorry.